This comes during a summer of high heat both around South Carolina and across the country. Almost each day in the past week, heat indexes in the Midlands have climbed to three triple digit numbers. Excuse me. Even though it's expected that a South Carolina summer will be famously hot, a group of local researchers is now trying to find out why certain parts of Columbia get warmer than others. News 19's Walker Lawson has more on their findings and efforts to fight extreme heat. Over 30 volunteers put their climate science in motion stickers on their cars, went into the streets, and hung up stationary temperature and humidity sensors throughout the city. It's to gather information on a climate mapping effort that the City of Columbia was selected to participate in, thanks to the help of Kristen Dow, a professor at the University of South Carolina who's heading up the initiative. Pretty exciting because we're one of only 14 cities in the United States and two cities internationally chosen to participate in this. The mapping effort was the idea of NOAA and several other agencies who are working to collect data on heating in the city. Dow is working alongside people like her graduate assistant, Timothy Farmer, who says those driving the routes are collecting important data. We're going to be gathering data using sensors placed on cars, which are going to be driving uh, predetermined routes around uh, Columbia, parts of Lexington County and Richland County. And that's going to give us an idea of um, what surface temperatures look like. Uh, in different parts of the city. We've, we've kind of designed the route strategically so that way we are factoring in different places of the city with more tree cover, less tree cover, more concrete, different places, uh, urban versus more rural uh, neighborhoods. The drivers collecting data are covering 15 routes and 190 square miles and are completing it three times a day, early in the morning, midday, and at night. Once the data is collected, it will be sent off and studied by several atmospheric agencies. And they'll return to us a map of the city. So we'll have those maps and that'll help us understand where heat's being captured. And then um, there are a variety of responses to that, right? There's shading, there's um, improving the, uh, the quality of homes and um, energy efficiency. So releasing um, fewer greenhouse gases. So there's a whole host of things that can be done. Dow expects the data to be sent back to her team by the end of October. In Columbia, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.